What's up, everybody? Jonathan here on Mountain Logging Extreme. I couldn't get that right last time. It's Mountain Logging Extreme is the name of the map uh, by Beardshot Modding. All right, what we're looking at here is a new trailer I downloaded just the other day. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but it's got two pieces. You, know, you got this front piece with, uh, you can put headache racks on the front there, and I think on the front right there, you can put one. I've just got it on the back here. I didn't care to. I should have put one on the front, I guess. But anyway, uh, so you got this front piece which holds. Uh, it's got two sets of bunks, or well, one one set of bunk, and it's got a bunk there and another bunk back here, which I guess you could. Uh, looks like they're all the same width, apparently. That's good. I like that. That way, don't have to worry about uh, separating out logs and stuff. But you know, you got the rear attacher on the front one, which you can attach this back piece, which uh, I'm guessing that you could probably keep going. You could probably hook up one more, maybe at least. I don't I don't know, I guess as much as your truck will pull. But gosh, I'd hate to hook up more than about two or three of these things because uh, you'd have to have a hoss of a truck plus uh, going around curves and any kind of dip in the road or something other. You could probably tip it right over, I would imagine. I, I don't know, I'm just guessing. I haven't uh, got one loaded up yet. But anyway, I've got this Caterpillar truck. It seems to have a good bit of power, so thought I'd try it out with this because I don't think I have anything in my fleet yet that <laughs> would uh, pull all that log, uh, two trailer fulls of logs, but I don't know. Alright, so let me show you where I got this thing. Hold on. Alright, so here's the, the, the trailer. It's by uh, Bandit Booker Modding. That's why it's uh, BBM RT1 and RT2 is what they're called. <coughs> and you can see here from the screenshots, I guess you can stack them. I doubt I'll ever do that, but uh, you can if you want to. I'm guessing those things fold down, those little tines, or uh, uprights, whatever. Uh, not too big, 14.5 uh, megabytes. Uh, it was released uh, a few days ago, five days ago, I guess. And uh, it's got pretty good ratings out of 103 at four stars, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's, let's go check it out. All right, and uh, we're just gonna hop in our truck, which I, I hate that I picked that color. I hate, well, I hate the way that this truck does. The, see, it looks good there, but anyway, when you get around on that side, it doesn't look very good. It's too shiny. Anyway. Then I got the beast over there. I gotta come back and pick it up. Yeah, but this will be fun maneuvering this long trailer. this map figured out. I've only played it once or twice. And I've got uh, our log truck that we, we did we loaded up last time. I got it there and I got the crane or a grapple loader and we'll have to get us some wood chips and get the pallet production started. So that's why I had the beast over there. Um, well, let's see. Where, where am I going here? I've, I've gotten turned around some way. I guess I do need to go this way. I thought that was right, but then I went up to the map. It didn't look right. So maybe we just need to go all the way back around. That's probably what it is. I guess we'll see if this trailer gets dirty on the way up there. There's plenty of mud to hit. Pass four to get to number five where we're at. I'm gonna have to get me a course play route set up to get my vehicles moved back up there, especially after we sell them at the you know, sell the logs and stuff. We can just have it drive itself back up there. Yeah, I see the tires getting dirty, so I guess the trailer is. But yeah, I see it getting dirty. Okay, 
And that, when you got a map that's got mud on it, everything gets dirty super fast. I mean, usually it takes, uh, I don't know, like, you know, half an hour or, no, or more to start accumulating mud on your vehicles. You know, uh, run time, not game time. It's, it's just sitting there. It obviously, won't get dirty, but if you drive it through the fields and stuff and down roads it'll start to get dirty but this when you got mud it just immediately just gets dirty and I think this truck does get dirty yeah I don't like the dirt model but not much I can do about it right now like I said, I, I have been playing around some with doing some dirt on some mods, but I haven't quite got it perfected yet. I've been spending a lot of time on my map trying to get it finished. Uh, I, I'm, I'm about, to, I'd say I'm close to halfway done with it. And it's going to be based on a real world location not far from where I live, this big uh, paper mill down there. what it's going to be based off of. I'm trying to get all the little buildings put in, the roads put in, all the little detail stuff. And like I said, I, I had to take another map and I'm using that one so when I adjust the terrain all the trees are up in the sky so I have to individually place them back on the ground because I can't do them. I can't put them in a transport transform group and um, put them all down at once. I have to do it individually. tractor up here yet that's got uh, uh, the Brooks wood chipper on it. So I have to get that too. Let's, I'm, I'm just getting started here on this map so I need to get a few more things. And then we'll be ready to go. So let's see. I need a tractor. I don't think I need any of the forest equipment at the moment. And we got plenty of money to go with so, or play with, so I usually uh, go down here to this big fence. I think it's about the biggest one. I think it's got PTOs on the front and back. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. It may have PTO on the back. It, it most likely does. If it's got one on the front, it's probably going to have one on the back. But I'm going to stick with the fence. I like the, the green and the red. And sure, we're gonna be on some hills. We'll go for the big, big engine. Just go for the wide tires, and there's no need to put duels on there. And while oh yeah, we didn't need one more thing. I guess we need a stump grinder. I need to download that new one. I saw a new one just a little while ago. get the beast out of the way before we can do anything with that. Um, here's our transport truck. Well, we probably need to get it out of the way anyway, so let's go ahead and drive it back down there. I think I am going to go around this way this time. that with a full load of logs.
dead ends. All right, well, it's off-roading we go. I was thinking that loop back around to hit the other road, but... two things. We need to get our beast up there, which I'm going to do first, because I've got to get that out of the way. So I can hook up the uh, wood chipper to the front of the tractor. Let's see if this thing is going to pull it up that big deal. It pulled the uh, little boy with the other equipment on there up there pretty good, so maybe it'll pull the beast. I don't know weight-wise what it compares to. Whoa, what was that? I must have hit a bit of a train glitch there. That's weird. Oh boy. Yeah, you kind of gotta, gotta watch it. This, that uh, front of the base is kind of low, plus you got those support things that kind of stick down. So any kind of piece of terrain that's sticking up, they'll catch it. That's what happens most likely. Again. Yeah, it just, uh, I guess it just didn't get smoothed out good. There's probably a, just a little, a little piece of something sticking up right there. Anyway, well, you can see right there it's kind of got a, a little lip to it. Absolutely filthy. Oh boy. Yeah, this this oh, it's just catching terrain stuff. So all it's doing. And this this is ridiculous. Okay, well that's uh, gonna have to reset all that stuff. There's no way to get around that. Um, let's see. I'm not sure what I can do other than try a different truck. Well, where did uh, where'd the beast go? Here it is. Hmm. Well, I really want to get some wood chips so I can get everything started. Well, let's try a different truck. Let me try the uh, FDR login one because I know the banking on it is high, so we'll may be able to get over some of that terrain stuff. Sometimes these things are too close, you just grab the wrong one. Yeah, 
And so you'll be able to tell whenever I hook up to this thing how much higher the backing on this one is because you'll see the, most likely see the uh, front of the beast lift up and make sure I'm lined up. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can see how much higher the uh, hitch is. In fact, I've got a probably force it under there unless there's just no collision under there or something. Yeah, it's no collision. Just, you see how much it lifted up? Look at that. <laughs> All right, so we should better get it up there now. I don't even think we'll have a problem at all with the terrain now. Unless we hit something really out of whack. about here is where we got messed up last time. Maybe it was a little further up, I can't remember, but somewhere right in here. No, we didn't get to there. Here comes the big hill, which this truck will have no problem pulling this thing up this hill. It's, this truck's a beast. A bit overpowered, I think. I mean, look at this, it's not even, not even struggling. <laughs> it's dropped one, one mile per hour. this thing it comes out that side I'm thinking what I want to do is just back the beast into the left of our grapple <coughs> the left of our grapple loader and uh, that way if I've got uh, something I need to you know I can either do load up a truck or make wood chips put it that way no I'm gonna had to sneeze and See, do I want to put it here or do I want to put it behind it? I'm thinking, because if I put it here, it's going to affect getting trucks in here to load. So I think I'm going to have to put it behind it, which means I'm going to get uh, this ground pull loader area clear. That's still under there. And normally on these track machines, the whole track is doesn't have collision. It's just uh, it's almost like it's got four wheels anyway, because uh, the part of the uh, track that actually has uh, any contact with the ground, I guess so to speak, is uh, just four points like you would in a uh, truck or you know pickup truck or something. trying to figure this out what I want to do because I guess I could just put them here temporarily because these logs I think these are the sevens or maybe some fives mixed in a couple of fives and mostly sevens uh, meters because the um, that that uh, Kenworth truck with the Arctic quad trailer on it 
Uh, it, you can really, to make them fit in there good, you got to have uh, either five or six meters, and then uh, on the back you got, uh, well, on the back you got five or six, and then on the front it takes uh, anywhere from like seven to eight meters is good length. So you have to cut two pe two piles of woods, two piles of <laughs> two piles of logs, separate them out, to get them on the right part of the trailer. We'll put that right there for now, and then let's get this beast maneuvered back here. truck to get through there without it falling off the edge. We want to get us a truck. Truck with the oh something wrong like truck truck with the tipper on the back. All in the all in the wood chips. And I think what I'm probably gonna do is park it right in the middle. That way if I want to process logs directly into there with the uh, processor I can do that or I can use a grapple loader to load pieces in there and that should that's eh, close I may have to angle my truck a bit it's going to be a little bit tight but it's you got to leave a truck hooked up to it I don't think you can run the beast without a truck hooked up to it I think I'm right on that See if we can get the beast set up. Hope these wood pieces aren't in the way. All right, so let's get us a uh, let's get us a nice truck for our wood chips. I normally use the Peterbilt. Uh, well, I didn't enable it. Hmm. Okay, let's go with this uh, this Peterbilt then. We'll just slap the big engine on there. <laughs> we got plenty of money to play with. And then we're going to need a tipper. And let's see, in this case, uh, we don't have anything. I don't think this map has any wood chip storage. Uh, it does have that wood chipper, which does have storage to it, but doesn't have any dedicated wood chip storage. So I was going to say I could use the. Well, I didn't even, I didn't even enable it. Uh, we'll go with this one though. This uh, I think this is by Black Sheep Modding, and I usually let's see, let's just go with the black. Once again, we've got something in the way of our tractor. We're still moving a lot of equipment this this episode, but we'll just about got everything we need. Uh, get that tractor up there with the wood chipper and the stump grinder on it, and then we'll uh, just, I think we'll be ready to go at that point. And this truck just does not have enough power. I'll slap the big engine on there. I meant to go in and modify the XML myself and add some power to it. This truck shouldn't even slow down with that big engine on there. And I spent $90,000 to get the big engine. I should have pulling power. I 
not enough power. This is ridiculous. Not enough power. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add some power to this truck. Should not be doing this with an empty trailer. There we go. Um, let's see. One last thing to haul up there, then we're ready to get started. We'll have about a half hour or so once we do that to get started. Here we go, last little piece of the puzzle, I think. Let's get us some wood chips to cut down here to the slumber. Let's so get that pilot going. And I'm hoping that I can just take that tipper that we took up there just then and uh, back it up to that wood chip deal and just dump them in there. Hope that works.
I, I may try my hand at doing a yard or two. I, I think I, I think FDR with this latest pack put the yard or out, so I'm going to have to download that. Well, I've actually already got it downloaded, but install it and uh, see if we can't use that because there's a good spot right up here where we're at this landing. Use a, yard, a yarder. have the latest version of this Brooks wood chip, but the latest one I think will show you how many uh, wood chips you have stored in there. You just uh, try to find that one and get it down a little See if I can get those last two. One. Oh, no. okay. Let's see if we can dump them in here. Get in the right spot. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to actually go ahead and, well, let's see. I guess, uh, I could use these. Uh, I'm not really sure. I'll tell you what. Let's get this uh, other truck up here. Measure. I'm not sure what the length of logs I need for these. I got some fives and some sevens on the ground right there, so we'll, we'll measure and see. All right. So let's try the sevens first. I think that's going to be probably more what we need. The seam kind of long. Yeah, seems about right. Maybe a touch long, because we'll have to get those in there then. Yeah, I think I think we may have to go with uh, fives, which means that I'm gonna chip these suckers up. Let's hope the beast is still running. off. <laughs> uh, why doesn't it stay running?
Yeah, so the fives, fives is what we need, which would be nice, all the same size, fairly, fairly, uh, yeah, it's just a good length, it's not too long, not too short, I guess. Yeah, alright, let's see, so we need some more trees, we don't have very many on the ground, let's get a few more cut. I've got my cab tilted back a little. I'm afraid too much to put any logs down the hill. I'm afraid they'll just slide down like it happened last time. We lost a log down the mountain. <laughs> tree down the mountain, I guess. I'm going to come back over here and uh, cut some more. We'll lay them maybe where they won't slide down the mountain. I was hoping some other trees would catch them, I guess. Got it now. We'll see what that gets us. I don't think that's going to be enough to get us a full load, but we'll, we'll get at least something loaded. Got us now.
go ahead and lock this down, even though we don't have very much on there, uh, just so the logs don't move around in case I happen to bump it with the processor. I was afraid of that. We still got too many trees in the way. These trees were so long, uh, the tip of it hit the, one of the trees back there. I'll have to get those cut. I'm just going to do what I can. Well, we've kind of made a mess here on the landing, but uh, until I get some of those trees cut out back there, I can't really do much. And I think the terrain is not helping anything either. I'm kind of 
see all the what's going up that hill is the tip of the tree is hitting on that hill. It's probably what it is more than the trees. Um, let's see. First things first, though. Let's uh, go ahead and get this load of wood chips. We're not full, but we need to get it down there because we need to get the lumber yard started for the pallet production. Let's go ahead and get it down there. Once we get this wood chip uh, thing filled up, we'll get the lumber uh, offloaded off that trailer that we've already got down there to drop the loader, and then we'll get the uh, pallet production going. That's probably it, about all the time we got for today. figure out a way to cut me a path from about landing number four right down to the wood yard I mean, that'd be the best way to go. Just an awfully long way around this this, this way. See if this works. I think, I think I've done it this way before. Showing zero. Yeah, so I guess that didn't work. I thought I had done that before, but I couldn't remember if it worked or not. Um, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and throw some logs in there. I'll get the wood chips figured out for next time. 
It may be if we throw logs in there that may get started. I don't know. Let's see, we've got those. Let's see. I think it's going to recognize me dumping that in there like that. I think you have to use a front end loader. And it's probably going to show that we've got logs but not uh, fuel. Yep, 94, uh, 98 percent, but no fuels. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get that straightened out for next time. And uh, let's see. Tell you what. Let's go ahead and move our truck over to uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get them set up on this other thing over here and just real quick we'll offload these and get this started. I think this thing here outputs anything from correct. I think that's just kind of for show. Once they get to the top, they drop in there in the cell. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I don't, I don't think it outputs anything. I mean, it's you know, it's got a, it's like a full deal going on in there. <laughs> I don't think this one fits out anything. All that's just a show. All right, we got just a couple minutes left. Let's do one thing right quick. Let's go to uh, our wheel loaders. I don't think I added it in. No, I didn't. Okay, well, for next time, I'll get us a wheel loader and I'll get all this scooped up and put it back in there properly because yeah, I think you actually have to dump it in with a wheel loader to make it 
actually recognize that there's wood chips in there, even though I dumped it all in there, but oh well. Okay, well, this is Jonathan on Mountain Logging Extreme by Beardshot Modding, and uh, next time we'll come back, we'll get us our, our uh, lumber production going, and probably try out that new trailer, the, uh, the uh, Bandit Booker Modding Double Decker Trailer thing. We'll get that loaded up and get it down the mountain, see how that operates, but Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Jonathan on Mountain Longing Stream. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.